So in this video we are going to see what is a BAP CDS projection view and what are the scenarios where we may need to use it or create it. So a projection view is available since a BAP release 7.76. It's a new kind of CDS entity and uh, this projection view is uh, serve a special purpose so the special need could be when when there is a CDS view available and uh, because of some business needs or business scenario you do not want to use that existing CDS view but you just want some of the subset of its data what it is returning so in that case we use the projection view and uh, other use case scenario could be there is a CDS view or CDS entity available which provides you a lot of data and uh, it has been used by the multiple teams and now you need to make some changes in that or you need to add some more functionalities that functionality could be adding a new association or adding new fields so rather than making change into the original CDS view which has been used by the multiple teams and uh, you have a specific business scenario or business need to make the change in that case you create a projection view on the top of your existing view and uh, add your own associations or fields or whichever you need to make the change so there is one thing a projection view is always connected to exactly one existing CDS view it means one CDS view cannot have multiple projection views or we can say one projection view will be attached to only one CDS view and uh, a projection view will always show you a subset of data and uh, it is mainly used when there is a specific business scenario or business need the projection view is always the topmost layer which provides the data and uh, always uh, being used for creating the Fiori application because it's the topmost layer and uh, yeah that's it uh, so let's see how we can create the projection view and how we can use it So for creating a projection view uh, we will first create a normal view and then we will create a projection view on the top of this view. So we will be creating a data definition and then package name zi underscore projection demo projection view click on next next and select the define entity view click on finish and now in this consider this is the original CDS view and then we will create a projection view on the top of this CDS view so our first table name would be book supplies this is our original table from where we will be reading the data okay and then we will put the association here two and uh, 
our first association will be on the supplement data so as underscore product on which field you want to make a join so product projection dot and uh, supplement underscore id is equal to underscore product dot supplement id okay so first association is this and uh, then the second association would be same to and we will take supplement text as underscore copy this supplement text and uh, on dollar projection dot supplement underscore id is equal to underscore supplement text dot supplement id okay so we have put these two association here and uh, now let's insert the fields whatever fields are available and uh, we need to add the associations here so one and our second association okay now what it is saying is expression cannot be used l e m e n t okay so product supplement and uh, so here we are getting some error saying uh, the name supplement id is obscured by an alias so probably we need to okay so let's remove all of these alias whichever are coming here by default when we add them so remove all of these we do not want the price field here and this date as well okay so now everything looks fine activate and uh, right click open with data preview so here we are getting the data and now what we will be doing is we will be creating a projection view on the top of this entity view okay so just consider this this cds view has a lot many fields lot many associations and annotations and everything and we do not want to touch it because it's been used by the multiple team members and we have a very specific business scenario to be achieved okay so we will be creating a new CDS view which will be a projection on this CDS view. So create new other and data definition Z CIM and 
underscore projection projection for this click on next next and here you need to select define a projection view this option click on finish so this is your new projection view name and from where you want to project so we want to project to this cds view which we have created here okay so now the next thing is we will just click here and insert all of the fields so we got all of the fields here available and uh, now you can just add your annotations whatever you want so okay so one important thing is whenever you create a projection view it should be a root view entity okay so you need to put a root here and uh, now you can add the uh, annotations so we will add some ui annotations okay so ui then line item and uh, position 10 and uh, label is travel id okay so this is just for example there can be any annotations based on the requirement booking id so these are the only two things which i wanted to add and uh, let's activate so we got activated and uh, now open with and data preview so we got the travel id booking id and all of the fields available in the original cds view here so all of the data is been projected now into this projection view and uh, basically this is a copy of this original cds view but with minimum data so for example we are not having any associations or anything here we just have some new annotations and the required fields only okay so this is how the projection view is used and uh, that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel and thank you.